What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm your boy Zawoki and we're back out with some more Funko Pops. But Funko Ween, which is a halfway to All Hallows Eve. I don't know how I feel about this, but a lot of Halloween-y, horror, scary, and all the above when it comes to creepy and the darkness and goosebumpy and stuff like that. When it comes to Funko Pops is on Pop in the Box's website. We're going to be taking a look at quite a bit here. Walking Dead, horror films, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Gremlins, a lot is going to be happening on this channel, or not this channel, but this video right now. So guys, grab a chair, grab some popcorn, because you don't want to miss on any of this information if you guys, one, are Funko fans, and two, horror fans, and three, just like collecting. Look. If you guys are new to my Zawoki channel, or if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting the red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on notifications as well by hitting the bell icon next to it. So I do post a video like this one. You'll get that little ring notification that Zawoki's posted a video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, you guys are still killing it with the comments. The likes, the subs, the shares, the everything. Keep it coming. I surely appreciate every single one that supports this channel and just helps it grow even more. And you guys are legends. So keep it going. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone you guys know. And with that being said, let's take a look at today's video. We're looking at Funkoween. We talked about Funkoween Pops yesterday with the introduction for the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, Funko train, as you will. The link in the description will be down at the bottom for you guys to take a look at that one as well. There will be some Funkoweens we won't talk about in this video because it's going to be for another part two kind of video because there's a lot of Funkoween on, on this and I can't put all of it in one video because we've been here for quite a while. But starting off the bat, we're going to be looking at, obviously I'm going to pop it or show up the website here itself pop in the box website is amazing fantastic company i am not sponsored by them in any way so this is my absolute honest opinion i've been buying tons of funko pops from this website and i've never had a damaged pop or wrecked pop whatever have you come in the mail they are fantastically in pristine condition and i think you guys should buy from this website as well but starting off the bat obviously we'll take a look at here we got some and obviously also as well it's still continuing so every single day we get more additions to this we still have it looks like a couple days of more pops coming in it could be more for today i've seen a lot of uh paka 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 pops coming out mini ones i've never even heard of this but you guys are probably gonna that's gonna be in a separate video but there's a ton here so starting off the bat we're gonna be looking at the top here uh with some plushes and uh, Five Nights at Freddy. So if you guys love Night Five Nights at Freddy as well. But starting off the bat, we're not going to be talking about the Five Nights at Freddy because those just came out today. We'll talk about those in a different video. But those are on this Pops's, or this website, Pop in the Box. You guys can see the top left corner. The link will be down in the description for you guys to take a look and pre-order at your leisure. But starting off the bat, we got Walking Dead Funko Pops. If you guys like the, the Walking Dead, I it's been a while for me to watch Funko or... Uh, watch walking dead i haven't seen it in like season eight i think they're on like what season 11 but with that being said you guys are going to enjoy these pops these looks like the pre-orders are not going to be until august september and beginning of october so i'm wondering if that's why they're brewing pre-orders now so when they do come out it will be october um but yeah most of them are between august and september time frame there are a couple onesies and twosies that look like they're beginning of august or october but just know that you're not going to get them right away the next couple months. But you might want to get them pre-ordered because some of these Funko Pops I've seen, like um, Godzilla vs. Uh, Kong, those Pops went so fast and went sold out. Even on Walmart's website when it came to those uh, those exclusive ones, they went out fast. You never know with Funko. You never know with the supply and demand. So make sure you guys pre-order them as fast as possible, including Amazon. When we, but we're not going to talk about that. So right off the bat, we can see Daryl, Maggie, and Carol with their weapons of choice. Daryl's holding his um, crossbow. Maggie's got a, a bow, and Carol's got a. It says Carol's got a bow, but she's actually holding a six shooter, like a like a a magnum. But those ones are gonna be for pre order for you guys to take a look at. We have some older pops down here as well for pre order, kind of like I would say vintage pops, but vaulted pops that you guys can take a look at. So well, that's all there as well. So if you guys want to pre-order them, see like this one right here, these are sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Walking Dead is definitely one of the top Funko brands or Funko 
um, that sell out pretty fast. But like I said, these are part of the, the release of the Funko Ween. You guys can pre-order these ones down at the bottom as well. So pre-order them as fast as possible because fast. Next, if you guys have never seen the movie La Llorona, definitely a very good movie. Uh, very scary um, to be exact as well. This character is definitely one to stay away from. But she comes with a chase version. So the way that they do it on Funko Pops or Pop No Boxes website and quite a few different websites as well is you guys have a chance to win or receive a chase pop. So you buy the pop for $10.99. When it comes in the mail, you open it up and you can be either surprised by a chase pop. It will show the little sticker in the bottom right corner of the Funko Pop. Or you just get the normal version, which is okay. Definitely you want to have the, the normal version, but a chase version Definitely makes it more valuable because one, the sticker, and two, it's a different variant of that Funko Pop. So when you do buy it, don't expect that you're going to get the chase, that you're going to think that you're going to get it. It may come, it may not. So with that being said, the, the chase version is just not too much of a difference. So we see the, the normal version right here. The chase version is with her veil off and then her creepy eyes. Definitely you guys got to watch this movie. This one comes out in September. So. That being said, the next one we want to take a look at, we're not going to be looking at these ones. That's going to be in a different video. It's the Dia de los DC. Um, I'm guessing Day of the Dead kind of DC characters, but we're going to look at that in a different video, which I'm going to post today. So make sure you guys take a look at that as well. Um, down below here, we have Bright Burn. If you guys haven't seen that movie, definitely I thought it was a very good movie. But this movie, not to give him depth, it's pretty much Superman. If he was a bad guy kid, and started wreaking havoc and yeah i'm not going to ruin anything else for you you guys got to watch it this one is going to be coming out in september for 10.99 i'm kind of sad that it didn't come out with a chase version where it was like where you had that kids mask on and off but if you guys like bright burn brandon Breyer is definitely your choice of adding to your collection it will come out till september next to that we have vince vincent price I don't necessarily know where, who that came from. Um, I've said there, I've never seen it, to be honest. Demon Slayer, we'll take a look at another video as well. Gremlins, if you guys don't know what gremlins are, oh my gosh, you've been living under a rock. Pretty much these lovable creatures are cute and cuddly. Get them wet. Get them wet. Whole another ballpark. I think it's if you get them wet or you feed them after a certain time. That you're not supposed to and then they become um gremlins gremlin which is down here so you get these little cute ones that are gizmo which is the, one of the cute ones this is what they look like normal version down at the bottom is what they look like after they've been either wet i think they've been either in, like poured water on or if they eat after a certain time so those funko pops are also as part of the pre-order they look like they're going to be in September as well. You have also Elvera, um, which we'll talk about the different ones. Um, different video, which is coming up here soon. We have some Disney villain ones we're going to talk about in another video, but that's Michael Myers for some reason. I definitely want to get the 10-inch version because I love 10-inch Funko Pops. Um, I have like 20, <laughs> 20 uh, of the 20 or 10-inch Pops. I'm hoping to get some 18-inch pops in the future. There's Batman. There's there's Pikachu. There's um, name Groot. I want to get those ones. I still I still don't have a 18-inch. I do want to get one. So, but these 10-inch pops just look so cool and detailed and and so forth like that. But yeah, I have 20 of them. This Michael Myers. I don't necessarily uh, collect horror pops. I do have some Resident Evil pops. Um, but that's about it when it comes to horror. I thought about getting into Chucky and um, Pennywise and stuff like that. But I'm not quite sure if I want to open up that can of worms. I do have a lot of Funko Pops as it is. But this Funko Ween is opening up another can of worms that I don't, want, I don't know if I want to touch. But Michael Myers, when it comes to Halloween movies, I definitely love. Like Friday, uh, Friday the 13th is definitely a good one as well. The 10-inch one just looks dope. Um, even clicking on it, it doesn't bring up the the location of Michael Myers. You gotta type it in, Michael, and then it will pop. Well, now it's not popping up. Could it be out? Take a look. 
Okay, so you literally have to type in Michael Myers Halloween in order for it to come to this location on Pop in the Box's website. They made it a little harder to find, kind of a little nerve wracking, but I'll post the link in the description. Make sure that you guys can go right to this, um, this point so you guys don't have to click around and do all that typing and stuff like that. But looking at it right here, you guys, you guys can see the 10 inch version of Super Size Funko Pop, which you guys is good. 39.99 or 29.99 i guarantee this one will definitely go up in value just because it's i wouldn't say a vintage pop but it's a vintage or it's a more older classic movie when it comes to halloween michael myers um just i, I i'm really digging the, <laughs> this pop it looks it looks plain jane but super good there's also going to be a four inch version as well to at the left um we have some kind of shirts and stuff like that to add to your collection as well but with the Funko Ween, there it's going to keep on coming. Apparently, I never knew that there was a halfway to Halloween Funko sale. Uh, I know they did it last year, but I didn't think they were going to continue it. But like I said, there's going to be more additions here as well. There's also a glow in the dark uh, Jack Skeleton that's coming as well. There is the Corpse Bride, which I did have on there as well. I'll post the links in the description for you guys to check those out. They haven't been released on Pop in the Box's website. But if you come to this website right here, I'll pop it open here for you guys. You can see Jack right here in his, in his glowing in the dark glory with zero. I guarantee my fiance is going to want this one. The only reason why it's not on this website or pop in the box's website is because it's an FYE exclusive. So it's not going to be on that website, but it's still part of the Funkoween. Um, we have some more of those uh, Funko Pops that I talked about yesterday. These ones, not so much. My fiance likes, but they're just our artsy series um we have some more keychains we have the train one we talked about yesterday we have bright burn we have that one corpse bride that i talked about here which is a hot top exclusive and these diamond one these diamond collections for some reason when i've seen like um other nightmare before christmases or um disney Fun or funko pops in the diamond collection they go super fast or like winnie the pooh for some reason everybody buys them because they're glittery they're cutesy all they buy them all so make sure you guys buy those fast because they are good good in value but they go super fast when those diamond collectors um come out i don't have any diamond collectors but next to that the the, the vincent spices right there still don't know about those ones these ones i'm not going to talk about in this video but those are the demon slayer funko pops more if you guys like these soda uh can ones which i'm actually getting into which is a whole nother can of worms but they're super cool and they come in like a can which is kind of cool um they're also chase versions as well next to that we have the gremlins there's gonna be a jumbo size pop which is a walmart exclusive so check that out right there uh like i said the links will be down in the description for you guys to take a look at those we have a flocked which is more of your kind of fuzzy it kind of looks like a teddy bear um it just got to, it has a more of like a felt kind of or felt kind of feel to it but they're super cool. I got Five Nights at Freddy one. I also have a um, Sully for uh, over there. A Sully from Monsters Inc. They're kind of cool. They're cute and stuff like that. That's gonna be at Target. Uh, Entertainment exclusive. We'll have another one as well. I'll post all these links in the description for you guys to take a look at these for pre-order. And then down at the bottom we have Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. I'm not quite sure why this is part of the Halloween theme, but. A hot top exclusive with stitch inside a pumpkin we have a jumbo size plush um looks like bed sheet is that a no that's a phone case is that a phone case looks like a phone case i'm not quite sure what that is in the top right there or this one not quite sure if you guys could tell me what those are um but like i said in pop in the boxes website you got some plushes here when it comes to five nights at freddy i'm not gonna tell you guys about those until the next video so make sure you guys keep on notifications when I do post videos about these Five Nights at Freddy or what more comes to this um, Funkoween, you guys can be the first to know and order as fast as possible. So, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video when it comes to the Funkoween Pops. There'll be more Funko Pops coming, obviously, within the, the months to come, the weeks to come, and within the next 20 or the, the next year, 2021, and then 2022, right around the corner because we'll start beginning more. For that year as well so again thank you very much for watching have a fantastic evening and day and we'll see you guys in the next video so keep it real keep it safe and as always turning on and we'll see you guys next time Oops.